नेक्स्ट इनस्टॉलेशन थर्ड पार्ट हाउ टू चेक द सॉफ्टवेयर नेम इन डम्प एक्चुअली वेन एवर वी डाउनलोड द सॉफ्टवेयर नेम इज नाट कंटेन ऑन द फॉल्डर फॉर नोइंग वाट साफ्टवेर वी डाउनलोड फस्ट वी हेव टू अनकॉर द डाउनलोडेड सार फैल एंड ओपन सी डी लेबल डाट ए एस सी आर् लेबल डाट ए एस सी इन दीज फैल वी गेट द नेम आफ द साफ्टवेर दे हेव टू रीनेम द फॉल्टर how to uncover the share file the command is sapcar.exe hyphen xvf next space file name for uh, linux just we have to provide sapcar hyphen xvf file name how to check the system is x86 or x64 that is 32 bit or 64 bit in windows system go to my computer click right click select properties there we get the system is either 32 bit or 64 bit in linux it is very simple execute the command u name what is the installation errors path in sap or what is the path of installation logs in sap while installing the installation logs or errors are stored in a separate file that is in windows drive that is wherever we are Installing C drive, D drive, or E drive. Next, uh, their program files. Next, uh, their SAP INST underscore INST DIR folder. These errors or logs will be stored. In Linux, root temp SAP INST underscore INST DIR folder. These errors or logs are logs. stored what is developer key whenever the app developer wants to make changes to any of the sap customized objects developer key is used to register a particular user as a developer if the developer wants developer key whenever we want to change the he want to change the sap customized objects the purpose of developer key is used to register a particular user as a developer object key what is object key object key to allow changes to sap sources or sap dictionary objects an object must be registered when it is changed by a register developer for the first time what are the marketplace activities we can download the software go through the sap notes generate keys product availability matrix that is pam and raise an incident what is the incident in sap when an issue occurs in sap system an end user can create an incident incident management process deals deals with resolving incidents raised by end users system alerts using monitoring service are by key users incident raised in sap marketplace what is the use of 
SWPM. SWPM stands for Software Provisioning Manager. It is a tool used to install SAP software. What are the versions of SWPM? SWPM has two versions. Those are 1.0 and 2.0. If you tell I used SWPM for installation, next uh, this kind of questions we, you will get. What is the current patch level of SWPM? You can tell that SP33. Okay, you check whatever patch level you are using. Next, uh, what is the patch level when you install SWPM? The answer is SP24. What is the port SWPM uses? That is 4237. What is the executable file in SAP? The executable file in SAP is SAP INST. How can you copy the software into server level? If it is Windows, by using Download Manager and we download the dump in server level. If it is Linux operating system, we use WinSCP tool. How to uninstall the software? Open the SWPM, go to Generic Options. Select the database, click uninstall, then the software will be uninstalled. SAP creates user set OS level. Whenever we install the SAP in a operating system, it creates three users. First one is the SIDADM. He is the administrator for SAP system. Next one is SAP Services SID. He is the owner of services. Third one is the SAP ADM. What are the folder paths? First one is the profile folder. That is uh, drive means uh, either C drive, D drive, E drive. The path is C, USR, SAP, SID, SIS profile. Next, what is the kernel path? C, USR, SAP, SID, SIS, EXE, UC, NT. This is the global kernel path. Next, local kernel path C, USR, SAP, SID, DVMB, DVEB, MGS, instance number, EXE. Next, what is the folder path of work directory? C, USR, SAP, SID, DVEB, MGS, instance number, Work. What is the trans directory folder path? C USR SAP trans. What is your company hierarchy? Generally, every company has a separate hierarchy. Okay, you can give this example. First top one is the director. Next project manager, later senior consultant, finally associate consultant. What is archiving in SAP? Archiving is nothing but the removing the outdated software from the marketplace by SAP.
Users are unable to access the system or server. Our server went down. How will you troubleshoot? If users are unable to access the system, first I will check whether I can access the system or not. If not, I log on to the server and verify the enough space for application and database. If they have enough space, I will check the SAP work process status by using SAP MMC that is Microsoft Mine Management Console in Windows or a DP1 in Linux. If I am unable to get the work process status, then I will start my investigation by checking the database. If database is open, then I will check the connection between database and application. If the connection is working fine, then I will check the application logs in work directory and I will troubleshoot the error accordingly. How the SAP installation resume? The files help to SAP installation resume are keydb.xml and control.xml. Where are these files? These files are SAP INST underscore INST DIR folder these files contains. What are the types of work process? The, there is five kind of work process. First one is dialogue. Used for execution of dialogue steps triggered by active user. Whatever we do in SAP, generally the dialogue work process will work for logging the server, uh, log, in the session, uh, log out the server, uh, and uh, navigating the pages. Those things, dialogue work process works. Background work process used for executing background jobs. That is whenever um, time required to execute the job, those jobs handled by background work process. Update work process used for of execution of update tasks. Next to spool work process used to pass sequential data to printer queue. NQ process, this is required to administrator log table in shared memory. Where is you check the work process status? In Windows, in Microsoft Management Console, that is MMC. In Linux, by using dp1 command. How to check the database status in Varakil in Windows operating system? By using SQL command, we check the database status. SQL plus slash as sysdba select status from v$ instance. By executing that command, we check the status of database either it is open or closed or by using br tools also we can check the database status if database is not open what can you do okay whenever database is not open we check the database logs the logs are present in alert underscore sid dot log file. Where is that alert underscore sid dot log file exists? Go to Oracle sid SAP trace diag rdbms sid sid trace. There we get the alert underscore sid dot log file. 
what is listener it connects database and application the port number of the listener is 1521 what is the listener port path the path is oracle seed release network admin the file name is listener.orea listener.orea file stores the listener information how to check the connectivity between db and application in windows operating system by executing r3 trans command in command prompt we have the two types of r3 trans command one is r3 trans hyphen d second one is the r3 trans hyphen u what is the difference between r3 trans hyphen d and r3 trans hyphen q r3 trans hyphen d it checks the database connection and also test if sap database is available or not by using the r3 trans hyphen q it checks the db connection without access any sap tables what are the written code of r3 trans command four zeros if we get the written code four zeros that means success if we get the double zero one two this one is connection failure where you check the logs of r3 trans command where you execute the command there it generates the trans dot log we have to execute the command trans dot log if connection is fine if connection is not fine we will check the logs into work directory these files we will check if any problem with the connection dev underscore disp dev underscore w work process 0 w0 dev underscore w1 dev underscore w2 dev underscore ms that is message server how to check the database status in oracle using linux operating system by using sql command i will check the database status sql plus slash as sysdba next select status from v dollar instance how to check the connectivity between db and application in linux operating system first we have to log in as or a sid next we have to execute the command lsnr ctl status we can stop and start the listener by using the commands lsnr ctl stop and start the listener by using lsnr ctl start thank you